We are back with the results of a new study that could provide insight into the spread and treatment of colorectal cancer. Research published in the Nature Journal found that a new type of bacteria thought to be found in the mouth may be behind a treatment-resistant form of colon cancer. That strain was found in 50% of the samples used in the study. NBC News medical fellow Dr. Akshay Sayal joins us for more. Dr. Sayal, great to have you with us again today. So tell us, what do we know about this bacteria and how is it potentially able to shield colon tumors from cancer-fighting drugs. Right, so this bacteria, guys, is called Fusobacterium, and there's been interest in this for the last decade or so. Is, is, you know, it's been associated with worse outcomes in colorectal cancer. It's even been associated with the spread of colon cancer, mm. meaning metastatic disease. Um, and so what they're trying to you know, figure out in this paper was that if, if we look back at, at patients who have colon cancer and we find this bacteria, um, is there anything specific we can garner? Can we get really granular here and figure out, is there something in this bacteria that's driving the cases and acting like that cloak, like you mentioned? And what they found was that, Savannah, 50 mm. percent of cases were associated with a really specific type of this bacteria wow. that could potentially p uh, pave the way for treatments for this one day. How advanced was the colon cancer in those where they found the high levels of bacteria? So mm. in this study, Joe, they didn't really look at, at that question, but what they did find in, the, in past studies is that you know people who do have this, they are associated with worse survival. Um, and anytime you have things like that open up new pathways for this, you think, if I address that bacteria, could I improve that worse survival and could I possibly make for, for better treatments in the future? Something that we've been talking about lately that's really important, and I'm so happy that we're getting the word out there, is that this is on the rise in younger and younger yeah. people. Uh, people often much younger than they would even recommend a colonoscopy for, for example. Did this shed any light on that, this study? It, it could, Savannah, one day. And, and you know, the, the young question or the, the question about young people and colon cancer is the hottest topic in research right now. And we're always looking for ways to, to add to that. And, you know, what the hope is if, if in future trials, now that we know this question about this bacteria being present in higher levels, could we swap young people for this in the future and see is it something mm. that they're, they're having, you know, from an early age? Is that's what's driving the disease in these young people? But, guys, we just don't know yet. Yeah, I guess what's the dream looking down the road? How could this possibly help right. with how we screen mm -hmm. or even possibly how we treat colon cancer? Yes, yeah, two things, Joe. So I think the first one is a, is a mouth swab. So this bacteria is something that's found in our mouths. It is something that drives plaque. Um, so go to your dentist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but this, you know, if you swab for this one day and you start to see that down the line this is causing that disease, you could potentially give an antibiotic, right? Something that wipes out that bacteria and something that could, uh, you know, once treated, lead to better outcomes and even oh. stop the, the development of cancer uh, in the first place. Wow. Dr. Akshay Sal, important information. Thank you very much for coming Thanks. by. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.